When you think of a crime family, you probably think of the infamous five families of the Italian-American Mafia, or maybe one of the ruthless syndicates of the Mexican drug cartels. But on this episode, we're doing a deep dive into the Pettengale crime family, one of the most notorious and sinister criminal syndicates in Australia's history, and the inspiration behind the film and TV show Animal Kingdom. The matriarch of the family, Kath Pettengale, nicknamed Granny Evil, was the leader of this criminal crew. Kath had six sons, five of whom became notorious criminal figures in Australia and whose crimes ranged from drug trafficking and armed robbery to even rape and murder. Kath was a prostitute early in life and later went on to running brothels. She also has a distinctive glass eye in place of the one she lost after being shot in the face in 1978 during an argument with two prostitutes. As for Kath's sons, Dennis was a drug dealer, convicted rapist, and murderer who killed at least five and possibly as many as 12 people. Dennis was so ruthless, he later became known as Mr. Death. Peter was a violent armed robber and drug dealer who once was considered to be Victoria, Australia's most dangerous man. Victor was a murderer gangster and accused cop killer. Jamie was an armed robber and drug addict and Trevor was a violent drug dealer and accused cop killer. In 1982, Kath was running an illegal brothel in Richmond, Australia, and her oldest son, Dennis, was running the family drug operation out of a house down the street. Kath then began slowly buying more and more houses throughout the area to expand her family's criminal enterprise, eventually having as many as 40 properties to commit crimes out of. Dennis also began recruiting more and more soldiers to work under him as part of the growth of his drug enterprise. Dennis was extremely aggressive and prone to random acts of violence. For example, in 1984, Dennis shot and killed his friend, Wayne Stanhope, in front of witnesses in his own house, and the Pettengales were very successful at scaring witnesses out of ever corroborating with police for fear that they too would become victims of violent retaliations. But by 1985, Dennis's power was starting to fade. Police were investigating him for over 11 different cases that included a fatal shooting, three suspicious drug overdoses, two missing persons, and five confirmed homicides. Ironically though, only a month after he was officially charged with murder, Dennis died from heart failure at the age of 35, likely due to his years of reckless partying and drug abuse. With the sudden death of Dennis and his younger brother Peter being in and out of prison for various offenses, Kath's two younger sons, Victor and Trevor, were now becoming the new leaders of the gang. Victor and Trevor ran their own criminal syndicate known as the Flemington Crew. They were responsible for a number of fatal shootings involving gangs and armed robberies. In 1988, Victor's best friend Graham Jensen was fatally shot by police while they were attempting to arrest Graham. After hearing about the death of his friend, Victor flew into a rage and organized an ambush, killing two police officers as a means of revenge. In the investigation that followed, police found the murder weapon, a shotgun, and with forensic evidence, tied the gun to a previous armed robbery of the Flemington crew, and specifically, members of the Pettengale family. The criminal code of silence that Kath held over her own family started to break down as members of the family were turning and becoming witnesses for the prosecution. Kath's grandson, Jason Ryan, who was the nephew of Victor and Trevor, became a prosecution witness in the trial and was offered immunity in exchange for his testimony. In the end though, it wasn't enough to convict the four men charged with the murder and they were all eventually acquitted. Even so, things were starting to turn against the Pettengale family. A few years after the acquittals, Victor was shot dead in the infamous Melbourne gangland killings, resulting in the family's power being greatly weakened. And police were still determined to take down the rest of the Pettengale family as revenge for the killing of the police officers. Detective Lachlan McAuliffe worked closely with police informants and eventually went deep undercover himself to infiltrate the family. At this time, Kath and her son Trevor were running their own drug operation, and the undercover work paid off, and the Pettengale family was finally taken down. Trevor was sentenced to seven years, but surprisingly, Kath only got a mere 18 months. Kath now lives a quiet life away from crime, and even went on to write an autobiography about her life.